Greetings everyone. Today is the day when we talk about relative cell referencing and absolute cell referencing and autofill. As per usual, let's make sure we understand the data set before we dive in. We have my trip to the barbers, getting a trim and a shape up. And if we own this barber shop, these would be our rates. We want to calculate how much money we take in per day. For example, if we had five bookings on Monday, we want to calculate how much money did we make that day. And in fact, we want to write a formula to calculate the earnings throughout the week. The first rule of building a formula, click in the cell where you want the answer to go. For our first formula, let's confirm which cell we're in. We're gonna type our first formula entirely with our keyboard. The second rule of building a formula is type equals on your keyboard. We had five bookings on Monday, which is cell I4, and we want to multiply that by the cost or the rate, which is cell F4. And when we're ready for our answer, we press enter on our keyboard. When we're using formulas in Excel, we must get used to looking in the formula bar. The formula bar will tell us really what's going on. I4 and F4 are just normal relative cell references. And a little bit later, we'll see exactly what that means. Let's write our second formula for Tuesday. So what exactly do we mean when we say relative cell reference? Well, ideally, we don't want to write a separate formula for each row. We want to use autofill. Let's see what happens when we autofill our first answer in J4. Hmm, that's not good. It's all gone wrong, folks. The first answer for Monday looks okay. Let's click in there and check out the formula bar. What about Tuesday? Remember, the reason we used autofill was to save ourselves some time. Excel took that formula and filled it down which did indeed save us some time. However, the cell references I4 and F4 are just relative to the row that they're on. So I4 became I5, I6, I7, I8, and F4 became F5, F6, 7, and 8. This is what's known as a relative cell reference. In this case, it's relative to the row that the formula is on. So I5, which has got a value of eight, multiplied by F5 is indeed 160, even though it's not the answer that we want. Let's check the next one. I6 multiplied by F6 is indeed 250. I7 multiplied by nothing is zero. And finally, I8 multiplied by nothing is also zero. These are clearly the wrong answers. In a short while, we're gonna see how using an absolute cell reference is the best way to solve this. But for now, I'm gonna reluctantly write a separate formula for each row.
With the weekend bookings, let's build our formula for Saturday. Now, this will be interesting. Let's see what happens when we autofill this one. This time, autofill has worked. Let's check the formula bar to see why. Next up is absolute cell referencing. As per usual, let's make sure we understand our data set before we dive in. This time, we only have two prices or rates. And instead of writing seven separate formulas, if we use absolute cell referencing and autofill, we only need to write two formulas. Let's do this. Let's type equals, and we wanna take J4, and we want to multiply that by the rate. If we're gonna autofill down to row eight, we want J4 to be relative so that it becomes J5, J6, J7, J8. However, this time, we don't want G4 to become G5, 6, 7, and 8. We need to make G4 an absolute cell reference so that it doesn't change. If we press F4 on our keyboard, Excel wraps dollar signs around the cell reference. This is what's known as an absolute cell reference. Now we can autofill down to row eight. All of the answers are correct. Check out the formula bar. So that's one formula. Let's do a similar thing for Saturday and Sunday. Click in the cell, type equals J9. We're happy for this to be relative. That is, it will become J10 multiplied by the weekend rate, which is G5. Let's make this absolute. Auto fill down. Bingo. Now, if you wanna see some Excel magic, check this out. Look at the formula in K4. We can copy this formula to next week Monday, which is cell 04. Excel sorts out the relative cell referencing and points to N4 and maintains the absolute cell referencing, which is G4. Now we can autofill down. This time, let's copy and paste the formula for Sunday. And autofill upwards. Boom. So, in total, instead of writing 14 formulas, we only needed to write two. Happy days.
Before we go, let's see another benefit of absolute cell referencing. All of our formulas, Monday to Friday, have an absolute cell referencing, or think of it as part of their formula is fixed on G4. Well, if we change the weekly rate, boom, all of the answers update. Let's change the weekend rate too. That's all folks. This is part two of our little series called Functions and Formulas Made Easy. Make sure you like and comment and subscribe. I will see you on the next video. But until then, we have come to the end.